This is the Sun America NBC Sports Desk. Here's Beth Ruyak. Hi everyone, Beth Ruyak back in our New York studio at the Sun America Sports Desk. We'll send you back to our golf coverage shortly, but first let's take a look at some of the major sports news of the day, starting with the women's final at Wimbledon played earlier today. It matched 16-year-old Martina Hingis playing in her third straight Grand Slam final with 28-year-old Jana Novotna, whose previous appearance in a Wimbledon final is best remembered as one of the worst collapses in Wimbledon history. Hingis and Novotna had met five times before and Martina had won three of those meetings. Meetings. Novotna took charge early, going cross-court with the backhand winner. She won the first set 6-2, and in spite of her expression, the Duchess of Kent was probably pleased. Second set, Hingis sends this backhand winner down the line to go up two games to one. She went on to take the second set 6-3. Third set, it's break point for Novotna, who has an opportunity to go up three games to none, but Hingis makes watch this a beautiful shot on the run to win the point, and she went on to win the next five games. Now, Novotna serving on match point for Hingis. She returns a cross-court forehand for the match, 2-6, 6-3, 6-3. Martina Hingis takes home the silver platter and a check for nearly $600,000. After the match, Hingis spoke with Bud Collins. We don't have too many 16-year-old champions around here. You're a little older than Charlotte Dodd was 110 years ago, but I don't think she played anybody like Jana Novotna. How did you turn it around? Well, I just tried to keep the ball in the game, but she didn't give me enough space to make some passion, passing shots in the first set. But I was like, come on, I can't lose anything anymore and just play your game and try to make her tired that she gives me enough space. And well, I played, I didn't play bad in the first set already, but I mean, I just came back out of there and I played a great match. She did, and the 16-year-old becomes the youngest player to win Wimbledon this century. And don't forget, our live coverage of the men's final is tomorrow at 9 a.m. Eastern, 6 a.m. Pacific time. Top seed Pete Sampras tries to win his fourth Wimbledon singles title against unseated Cedric Pialine of France. Pialine is the first Frenchman to reach the Wimbledon final in 51 years. Baseball's All-Star Game is Tuesday night in Cleveland, and one of the biggest American League stars has pulled out. First baseman Frank Thomas of the White Sox is not 100% because of a sore rib cage, and that's in spite of the fact that Thomas homered today against the Red Sox. American League manager Joe Torre of the Yankees has replaced Thomas with his own Paul O'Neill. And in the WNBA game just concluded on NBC, the Charlotte Sting beat the Los Angeles Sparks 78-66. The Sparks are now three and four. The Sting improves to two and three. Lisa Leslie had 16 points to lead LA, while Andrea Stinson had 19 to lead the winners. Time for more golf as we send you back to the Celebrity Golf Championship in Lake Tahoe, and we'll see you a little later. This has been the Sun America NBC Sports Desk. Sun America, the retirement specialist. Okay, thank you, Beth. As you can see, the stellar weather continues here.